here's part two to this video hope you guys are staying blue hope you guys are having a blue task a week so far hope you guys are showering in and out of your week hope you guys are running in and out of your week hope you guys are still snowing out of your week seize up baby seize up tell us about car for life seize up seize up baby but anyways guys anyways freaking i was saying yeah the new Stamford bridge we're about to build a new Stamford bridge hopefully our stadium will be looking like real madrid stadium or something like that now the new Stamford bridge because the santiago bernabeo is like the sickest stadium in the world by the way but um the new Stamford bridge guys <laughs> ac milan are probably gonna do a new <laughs> New stadium, you know what I'm saying? And it like maybe 10 years from now or 12 years from now with their financial ticker or maybe even five years from now. But anyways, yeah, let me just talk about that. This is part two to the video, by the way. The new Stanford Bridge. We're having a new Stanford Bridge, guys, and I'm super duper excited about that. Blues for life, baby. Chess ball cup for life. Love my club to death. But AC Milan are trying to get Bruno Fernandez. For now, if Bruno stays in Manchester United, Bruno Fernandez is gonna be crap. I'm just telling you right now, Bruno Fernandez is gonna be pure crap if he stays at Manchester United. Let me just tell you that right now. They're also trying to sign Bernardo Silva, but I don't think Bernardo Silva is gonna leave Manchester City. I don't think Bernardo Silva is gonna leave Manchester City. I literally do not think Bernardo Silva is going to leave Man City. They said they wanted Bernardo Silva more because Bernardo Silva is obviously a much better player than Bruno Fernandes. But the thing with Bernardo Silva is that he's going to cost about 90 million pounds. And they have the money. It's just that City, City are trying to, trying to, like, what's it called, keep him more. But AC Milan want Bernardo Silva more than Bruno Fernandes. AC Milan really, 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 really are keen on Bernardo Silva. But I told you guys about the because I don't know if Bruno Fernandes is going to stay at, um, she's, she's, it, like, what's it called? Um, I don't know if Bernardo Silva is going gonna, is gonna to leave City. So I was talking about Bruno because Bruno Fernandez seems like the deal that's more likely to happen. AC Milan are trying to sign Bruno Fernandez. I don't know if they saw the penalty miss, but um, Bruno Fernandez is going to be a horrible player if he stays at Manchester United. Let me just tell you guys that right now. Bruno Fernandez is not going to be a good player. Anybody that's a, you, you guys saw what happened to Paul Pogba. He stayed at he stayed at Manchester United. It, like I said, I want I was like telling Pogba. Well, I was like thinking in my head, Pogba should go to Juventus. Pogba should go to Juventus. What does Pogba do? Pogba stays at Old Trafford. Now watch Pogba. Pogba is a pure crap player. Pogba is a horrific football player. Pogba had potential to be one of the best players, one of the best center midfielders in the world. Now he's pure crap. I don't even think Pogba should start for France. Angolo Kante is far better than Pogba. Angolo Kante is actually really, really good. Paul Pogba is a horrible player. Much love, respect to him. Much love, respect to everyone. I'm just telling you guys the truth. Paul Pogba was linked to Manchester City. He was linked to Juventus. But what did he do? He stayed at Old Trafford. And you know what happens to Old Trafford players. They become crap. They become crap. Because Man United is a crap football club. Much love and respect to everyone. Man United is a crap football club. But you know what happened. Paul Pogba stayed at Manchester United. He became crap. Now, Bruno Fernandez doesn't go to AC Milan and heed into what AC Milan are trying to do with making the new Rossoneri, then Bruno Fernandez is going to be a crap player. Bruno Fernandez is going to be a crap player. Antonio Conte is so close to signing for AC Milan. That's who they want the most. Antonio Conte is who AC Milan want the most. AC Milan have their eyes set on Antonio Conte first and foremost. 
with the financial takeover that they're getting. AC Milan had their eyes set on Antonio Conte first and foremost with the financial takeover that they're getting. <coughs> they have Ibrahimovic. They have such a great squad. They have such a great squad. And I heard they would have tried to get CR7 from United, but CR7 is getting too old, they said. But who knows? CR7 might make his way to AC Milan. Who knows? With Antonio Conte being the boss. That way, he wouldn't have any problems winning Italian Serie A because Conte is going to be the boss of AC Milan. <laughs> yeah, if you guys know what I mean, because Conte got entered to win the Italian Serie A. But AC Milan are going to get a financial takeover, guys. And this is going to be the biggest financial takeover in history, guys. This is going to be the biggest financial takeover in history, guys. AC Milan are going to be like Real Madrid. They want Bruno Fernandes. They have their eyes set on Bruno Fernandes because they can't get Bernardo Silva from Man City because Bernardo Silva is staying at City. I don't know, but we, uh, Bernardo Silva is staying at City. They also want Jesus, not but what um, Jesus, the guy who scored the winner against Chelsea. But Jesus is staying at City too. Jesus is staying at City. So AC Milan have turned their eyes towards Bernardo Silva. Now, if Bernardo Silva stays, no, not Bruno Fernandes. If Bruno Fernandes stays in Manchester United, he's going to be crap. If Bruno Fernandes stays at United, he's going to be crap. If Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba is already crap. Paul Pogba had the potential to be a great player, but Paul Pogba is horrible now. I'm sorry, but Paul Pogba is a horrific football player. Now, if Paul Pogba leaves Man United, then he can turn back to being one of the best football players in the world. If Paul Pogba goes to like, um, to like AC Milan, if Paul Pogba goes to AC Milan, he can become one of the best football players in the world again. If Paul Pogba goes back to AC Milan, then he can become one of the best players in the world again. You know what I'm saying? If Paul Pogba goes back to AC Milan, then he can become one of the best players in the world. Goes to AC Milan, he can become one of the best players in the world. That's what I'm saying. Like, if Paul Pogba goes to AC Milan, he's right back at it. He, he's right back with being a great player. Well, Paul Pogba chose. Paul Pogba stayed at Old Trafford, and now Paul Pogba is a horrible player. Paul Pogba is a terrible player now. He could have gone to, he could have gone to AC Milan. Like, well, he can go to AC Milan right now. What, Paul Pogba is 28, 29? That's another rumor I heard. AC Milan are trying to get Pogba. And I'm not making these rumors up, guys. These are serious rumors. AC Milan are trying to get Paul Pogba too. Now, if Paul Pogba leaves Man United, then he could be a great player. But if he stays at Old Trafford, he's just going to be crap still. He's just going to be crap still. Pogba should be like an 83 in FIFA, an 83 to 84 in FIFA. If I was the FIFA game administrators, I would make Paul Pogba an 83 or an 84. I would make him an 83. He chose. He chose to stay at United. He chose to stay at Old Trafford. He chose, and now he's dealing with the consequences of his actions. Ronaldo chose to go to Man United. If you go to Manchester United, you are going to be crap. Juan Mata chose to leave. Nemanja Matic chose to leave. Nemanja Matic could have been the greatest defensive midfielder of all time. Remember Nemanja Matic? He could have been the greatest defensive midfielder of all time. Nemanja Matic could have been the greatest defensive midfielder of all time. Nemanja Matic could have been the greatest defensive midfielder in the world. In the world. But he chose. Juan Mata chose. Pogba chose. So much talent. 
You don't go to Manchester United, folks. Now look what's happened to Rafael Varane. Varane is rotten now. Sancho is such a great player. He's right now. Well, I have heard Sancho is linked with AC Milan. Sancho is linked with AC Milan. So Sancho might get his acts together and leave Manchester United and go to AC Milan. Sancho, Jaden Sancho is linked to AC Milan. Jaden Sancho is linked with AC Milan. AC Milan are looking to sign him for 200 million pounds to 120 million pounds. Jaden Sancho is linked to AC Milan. I understand that, like, what's it called? He's English and all, and he wants to be, but what's it called? He could have gone to City and had a great career. But he chose United. Telling you, Paul Gwes should be an 83 in FIFA. Paul Paul Gwes should be like 83 or 82 in FIFA. Just like Gareth Bale. And Bale and Hazard are better than Paul Gwes. Bale and Hazard are way better than Paul Paul Gwes. But what's the call? Paul Gwes should be an 83 to an 82 in FIFA. Paul Paul Gwes should be an 80. I will do 82. He should be an 82 in FIFA. Paul Pogba, just like how Gareth Bale, except Gareth Bale is better than Pogba. Gareth Bale and Eden Hazard are better than Pogba. Gareth Bale and Eden Hazard are better than Pogba. You do not go to Manchester United. I'm telling you, in the next two to three years, United are going to be like Arsenal. United are going to still be quality, but they're going to be like Arsenal Football Club. Arsenal, the Gunners, Arsenal... Uh, United are going to be like Arsenal Football Club. I'm telling you, they're going to be like a, they're going to be like an Arsenal. They're going to be like literally just like how Arsenal is right now. That's what I see for United. I see Manchester United being just like Arsenal Football Club. I honestly see Manchester United being just like Arsenal Football Club. I literally see Manchester United being just like Arsenal Football Club. That's all I see for United. Them being just like Arsenal Football Club. I see Manchester United being just like Arsenal Football Club. Not having any success, not winning anything. Got great history, but they're not going to have any success. They're not going to have nothing. United are not going to be successful. United are a crap team. You see, now, now, now Pogba's crap. Paul Pogba's a horrific football player now. He should be an 82-81 in FIFA. And Edward Manny being an 83 in FIFA, what, what the heck? Edward Manny should be an 86-87 goalkeeper. Edward Mendy is one of the best keepers in the world. I don't know what's, what, what's, what's going on there. But Edward Mendy should be at 86, 85 in FIFA. And I know football like the most. I know football literally like the most. But anyways, obviously the coach is my note. But you know what I'm saying? I know my football. Edward Mendy should be at 86, 87 in FIFA. Paul Pogba is horrific now. He's a terrible football player now. He should be at 81, 82. Bale is better than Pogba. Hazard is better than Pogba. If they're going to put Bale to an 82, how are they not going to put Pogba to like an 81 to 82? Gareth Bale should be like 85, 84 rated in FIFA, 86 rated in FIFA. Hazard should be like 86, 87 rated in FIFA. But, hey, that's none of my business. That's none of my business. Paul Pogba is a terrible football player. Much love, like I say, I'm just telling the truth. I just come on here and I tell the truth, guys. Manchester United are a crap team. You guys saw what Austin Villa did to them? Bruno Fernandes is crap right now. Now if Bruno Fernandes goes to AC Milan, Bruno Fernandes is going to be good again. And I don't even think AC Milan need to sign a new boss. I think they're... Manager is good. The AC Milan manager is pretty good. The AC Milan, but hey, Conte is one of the best. Him and Pep are like joint second best managers in the world. So hey, hey, upgrade for manager. Apparently Conte is their number one target. AC Milan's number one target.
taking a sip of my drink. Much love, guys. But yeah, guys. Man United are gonna be like Arsenal. Man United suck. Manchester United suck. It's not like how David Beckham wasn't Man United anymore, guys. It is not like that anymore. You saw what happened to Mata. Mata ruined his career leaving Sanford Bridge for Old Trafford. One Mata ruined his career. You saw what happened in Amani Matic. Amani Matic was about to become the best defensive midfielder in the world or the third or second best defensive midfielder, just like Busquets. But you know what happened when Matic? Matic left Stamford Bridge for Old Trafford. He left Stamford Bridge for Old Trafford. Now he's old and doesn't have a good career. I'm telling you, Old Trafford is terrible. Manchester United are a terrible football club. Manchester United have history, but that's history. Let me take that back. History is important. History is important. But that's it. Man United are terrible now. And I don't see Man United getting better. I don't see they're going to be just like how Arsenal is. Ronaldo can't save United. Ronaldo is now going downhill because he went to United. Manchester United are horrific. Manchester City are amazing. Manchester City are a majestic football club. But Manchester United, they are horrific. Manchester City are absolutely amazing. Man City are absolutely amazing. Man City are a stunning football club, but Manchester United, they are a horrific football club. They're going to be just like how Arsenal is. Manchester United is just going to be like how Arsenal is. So let me take that back. They're not horrific, but you know what I'm saying? They're not one of the biggest clubs in the world. Arsenal and Man United are going to be in the same levels. Arsenal and Manchester United are going to be among the same levels. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal even have a freaking time. It when people go like you saw Ozo. Ozo was all was all right at Arsenal. Udiger, you know that no and that that what's it called? Freaking freaking um um Norway Norway star. It's not just Holland who's a star at Norway, but he is the best player in Norway. Obviously, Holland is the best player in Norway. Holland's like the best striker in the world right now. <laughs> like no, Suarez is the best striker in the world because Suarez is, like, super good. <laughs> Suarez is insane. But Udiger, so he, they, they do all right, Arsenal. They don't do the best, but they do all right. But when you go to United, you just do crap. Like Paul Pogba, so much potential, the French player. But now he's crap. Paul Pogba is absolute crap. Paul Pogba can't create chances. Paul Pogba can't defend. You saw what happened. Fellaini, he's like on Fellaini's level. Paul Pogba's on Marouin Fellaini's level. Paul Pogba is on Marouin Fellaini's level. You remember Marouin Fellaini? Paul Pogba's on Marouin Fellaini's level. Manchester United are a horrible football club. I'm sorry. And I'm telling, saying this with love and respect. Like, much of the while, I don't really love Man United. Let me take that back. I'm, I, 